in this module we will talk about mi microbial growth kinetics but in this module we will talk about uh, different methods which are used for the estimation of the growth as we discussed in previous modules that growth is divided into four different phases lag log stationary and decline phase but these four phases can only be determined if we actually know the growth how we can estimate the growth of a cell of a microorganism so in this module we can see that there are different approaches to estimate the growth so here you can see there are six different approaches by which we can estimate the microbial growth the first method is turbidity method and the second is total count third is the viable count fourth one is biochemical analysis fifth that is the physical method which called as graduated capillary tube and the last that is dry or a wet cell mass estimation so as concern the turbidity methods in this method when the growth happen the number of cells increase due to the increase in the number of the cells cell culture become turbid so due to the turbidity when we check on the spectrophotometer basically that measure the cloudiness and spectrophotometers act on the beer lambert law as you can see in this slide this is beer lambert law which actually measure the amount of light that pass through the suspension of the cell if there is a more turbidity then there will be the less light is allowed to pass through the culture so spectro spectro uh, uh, spectrophotometer give the reading in two terms one is absorbance and other is the transmittance in this equation you can see the relationship between the absorbance as well as the transmittance so in this picture you can see that how the spectrophotometer act in this slide you can see that this tube is blank there is no growth and the light is directly pass and then there is 100% transmittance and we can say that absorbance is zero so on other hand in the second you can see here the growth is and the number of cells are in the capillary and then there is a few lights one beam is only allowed to cross through so we show that the transmittance decreases as well as the absorbance increases so this one is the method by which we can estimate the growth in term of number of cells as the cell increase turbidity increase which can be easily measured by the spectrophotometer but there are some different limitations in this method because sometimes when the medium color is dark by the utilization of the substrate turbidity also increase sometimes that can affect on the estimation of the growth so we need an alternative method for the microbial growth so the second method that is the total count so the total count is basically you can say that cell growth measurement in which we can also count the total cells that include the viable cells as well as the dead cells so the total count is mostly done with the help of a slide which we called as hemocytometer so this hemocytometer if the culture is very diluted we can directly use that culture but when the culture is very turbid then we have to first dilute that uh, sample so in this picture you can see that uh, what is hemocytometer so here you can see that hemocytometer hemocytometer is basically a glass slide in which there is a standard cavities are formed you can see in this slide 
here there are different boxes small box medium box and large box and the large box has the diameter uh, you can say the sorry diameter that's a uh, width length and the depth most of the hammer cytometers as concern the large box that is 1 mm long 1 mm in width and then 0.1 mm in its depth so by counting the cells in different compartment we can estimate that what is the total count in the culture medium as concern the viable count viable count is mostly done in uh, the petri plate having some solid media which mostly called as the agar medium along with other supplements so the viable cell is defined at the cell which is which is able to divide and decrease in the cell number or sorry increase in the cell number so the viable count the normal way to perform the viable count is to determine the number of cells in the sample which is capable of forming colonies on a suitable medium so here we can assume those cells which have the ability to grow on the cells then we can count on the plate that is basically the colony count so as there is the count of the cells we can call as colony forming unit cfu that is mostly done by a simple counting of those all the colonies so sometimes when we do the viable counting we have to dilute the samples gradually which normally known as the dilution method in this picture you can see that first of all if we have a sample grown in a flask we take one ml of the sample and we dilute into a specific amount of the volume and then gradually we diluted and we form a different types of dilution and then we take the sample out of each dilution and we culture on the plate and then you can see here the number of colonies decreasing as per the dilution is increased so by this method we can easily estimate the viable cells present in any culture but as concerned the biochemical analysis it is the direct biochemical measurement of some cellular components such as nitrogen content total protein dna material or any special other compounds which is not the part of the medium so as concerned the indirect measurement of the chemical activity such as the rate of oxygen consumption or the rate of carbon dioxide production or vice versa in short the we can use the biochemical analysis by measuring the rate of respiration so other fifth and sixth method that is the gra graduated capillary tube that is mostly used in a yeast culture when there is a culture we centrifuge uh, the yeast culture or a bacterial culture in a graduated capillary tube so when there is a specific volume and then after the centrifugation we estimate the height of the pellet then we can estimate uh, uh, the growth of the culture in the same way the dry and the wet mass we just centrifuge and then weigh uh, the pellet as a wet mass or then we dry in a oven and then we can estimate the dry weight of the cell so by these six different methods we can estimate the growth in any fermentation vessel